Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. When I was younger, we had a Commodore 64 at home. That was our personal computer. It really was personal. And there was a program that you could buy that could help you create games that people could then play. It was a lot of fun to do. I would, I would uh, move sprites around the screen, make these different adventures, and then make my brothers and, and sometimes my parents play the games. And they were stupid, of course. I mean, I was a kid. Uh, I, I wasn't stupid, though. I mean, I, I took a lot of time to create these experiences. I, but the tool that I had was really um, limited. I mean, it was easy to use. And that's why I got into it, because it was easy. It was fun. I was able to uh, input and then get output. And that's really when I learned what I liked about technology and computers and even games to a certain degree. It wasn't so much the gameplay, it was watching how other people would interact with the things that I created. And so as I you know, developed into the geek that I am today, I realized that it's, for me, the validation comes from sharing information with people and creating things that inspire other people. So it's less about playing games and more about you know potentially pointing you to things that can help you make games or help you play games. That's the whole reason why I'm doing this particular video right now. I got an email from Alex Smith who passed along a link to alice.org. Alice, like the, the name, A-L-I-C-E dot O-R-G. This is where you can download a variety of tools for any platform, uh, Mac OS X, Windows, or Linux. Uh, this, I believe, uh, was uh, a project that was partially run by Randy Pausch, who recently passed away. Uh, and that is uh, another video for another day, uh, an amazing, just go ahead and, and Google his name and then look at the videos um, that he uh, was a part of before he had passed away. This is a free gift to everybody from Carnegie Mellon University. You can download Alice 2.0, in fact, 2.2 uh, beta is out right now. And of course, there's a storytelling Alice for younger, oh, what is it? Oh, it's, it's software that can help you create 3D games or tell a story in 3D. They, they even give you some sample objects. You can import objects. So you can create your own stuff. The software is about as easy as it can be, uh, you know, in terms of giving you this power, giving you this control, and, uh, you know, still being uh, something that is accessible. And since it's geared towards people who want to learn, it doesn't matter how old you are, really. You're never going to stop learning if you don't want to stop learning. I have always believed that it's it's impossible to teach someone who doesn't want to learn. You just can't do it. You have to want it. And I believe a fair amount of the people who follow me you know, online, not necessarily in real life, um, the, uh, the that a good degree of you would want to do something like this. And Alice may be the way that you, well, become more than you are today. How should I say this? You can get far by becoming a professional gamer, I'm sure, if you're really, really good. But I'm assuming you would likely get further if you develop the skills to create a game because that is something that not only a great resume builder, uh, but it will transcend every aspect of your life. Not only will you gain a greater respect for those who are currently involved in the gaming industry, and that would be not the players, but the creators, uh, you would just you would gain a gr a good amount of skills, uh, you know, being able to see something through, uh, being creative, uh, mixing logic with creativity. I mean, it's just this is a good opportunity. It's a free opportunity for any platform, no matter your background. I mean, right up front, it tells you Alice is an innovative three D programming environment that makes it easy to create an animation for telling a story, playing an interactive game or a video to share on the web. Alice is a teaching tool for introductory computing, uses 3D graphics, drag and drop interface to facilitate a more engaging, less frustrating, first programming experience. First programming experience. If you have not yet tried to create something in a programmatic fashion, as in programming, maybe this will be your first time. I still remember my first time and it was nothing like this. Uh, I had uh, a monitor, which wasn't so much a monitor as it was a black and white television, uh, in which a uh, Commodore VIC-20 was plugged into. And I would type in one zero space question mark space quote something quote enter 20 space go to 
space 10 enter r u n enter I, I mean this is so much better than what i had and even even as i grew up uh, and got into high school i mean i was i was i believe i, I was I believe i was in grade school at that time like fourth or fifth grade uh, back in the commodore days and by the time i reached a, a freshman level in high school they had computer programming but it was still very antiquated i mean especially by the, uh, compared to today's standards very antiquated like you you could program um a a, a, ra a virtual like whatever it was to move in different directions and you could program it to do different things but it wasn't exciting i mean it was just seriously it i i thought about doing it and, and going into it but man i tell you if i had these tools i may not be sitting here today i may very well have been doing something else with my life i don't know so i'm not going to say that this tool is going to transform your entire life but i am saying it is worth a shot if you are a gamer if you've always wanted to create a game if you're into programming if you always wanted to get started in programming if you're a teacher if you're a student if you're looking to build your resume it doesn't matter this and the set of tools here available at alice.org could very well jump start something and i'd be interested in hearing how it inspires you if at all or if you're interested in this kind of stuff or not i'm just guessing i mean ag again i get asked every single hour of my life you know what games i play i'm like I, i'm just a casual gamer guy i still love playing the games that i played when i was a child i'm still into the whole 8-bit scene chiptunes ftw i it's this is a, a different time for me. I'm, I, I'm, I'm not likely to pick this up because it doesn't interest me as much as it interests me to share this information with you. So if you want to share information with me, feedback or, or other suggestions and recommendation, uh, recommendations, feel free to drop me a line. My email address is chris at perillo.com. You can find me in a community of geeks at geeks.perillo.com. I wouldn't be surprised if, if some of you geeks are already registered over there for free and are going to post your thoughts on Alice and possibly even your Alice creations. I will be interested and I will take a look. If anybody creates something in Alice, I will take a look at what you've done. Certainly. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can you make a 3D environment like my home office? It'd be very small. Uh, kind of like my life. But if you want to see my small life playing out on live video, you're more than welcome to. Uh, I've, I've got this camera trained in on, on this area of my life. It's not that exciting. Really, this is all I do. And I got this chat room and the video and the geeks and the... Who knows what's going on. But the camera's always on and the community, well, it's, it's on more than the camera. And the camera's always on. You just never know what's going to happen, really. Because I've got this life stream, streaming life online, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.